archaeologists have discovered a set of engravings in Saudi Arabia that date back at least 8,000 years, representing a hunter accompanied by 13 dogs, two of which appear to have belts tied to the man's waist. The engravings are the oldest representations known. Science Mag reports that the engravings were made on a sandstone cliff in Shuamis, a region in northwestern Saudi Arabia, where more than 1,400 rock art panels have already been found. Petroglyphs were known to local Bedouin for centuries, but only caught the attention of the authorities in 2001. Since then, the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Jena, Germany and the Saudi Commission for Tourism and Heritage National have been working to catalogue the rock art panels. Among the massive collection of engravings, researchers were particularly interested in those that showed hunts that involved both men and dogs. Several scenes that have been recently catalogued show dogs that are used as hunting companions, some running loose next to a hunter and others tied to the waist of their master. It is truly amazing, said Linda Zetter, archaeologist at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., at Science Meg. It's the only real demonstration we have of humans who use early dogs to hunt. The dogs represented in the rock art are medium-sized with whole ears, short snouts and curly tails, common characteristics of domestic canines. In particular, the characteristics are similar to those of the canine dog breed, which has existed in the Middle East for thousands of years. Today, there are around 2,000 to 3,000 canine dogs around the world.